An old man told me once that the hardest thing today is to be an Indian. Now, he did not mean racial discrimination. He did not mean uh, bias and prejudice. He did not mean uh, the white man's hate for us. What he meant was living the life of a traditional Indian in today's world. Today's world, it's too easy to be white. To be a white man, all you have to be concerned about is, is money and possessions and, and the pleasures, what he terms pleasures of life, when he doesn't realize that here is, lies the pleasure, the life that surrounds us, these green things which are our relatives, this grass, the things that grow are our relatives. That is life. That's beauty. The clouds, the, the universe. The birds, the four-leggeds, all living things which are relatives. But the white man sees that he has to manipulate and exploit all these things so that he can, he can have pleasure, self-pleasure. It's, it's, it's complete selfishness. And so this is what that old man meant when the hardest thing today is to be an Indian, to get up with the morning star and pray at the time that the great mystery gave the two-legged the time to pray. You see, with the morning star, everything is quiet. All life has rested so that the two-legged can communicate with the great mystery. The birds are quiet. All life are, is asleep. Our Mother Earth is asleep. And so at this time in the morning is the time when we pray, as we have recognized that it is set aside for us at that point in time. The hardest thing to be an Indian is to go into the sweat lodge daily, to live the life of our ancestors. That's what he meant, because it's so easy to be white. It's so easy to go out and get a job and become concerned only with money. And then you start building fences around your house, and you start building fences around your cities, and you start building fences around your states, you start building fences around your country, and all this time you're building only a fence around yourself. And that's the fault of the white man. He is by himself. He lives by himself. He has no relatives. He even goes so far as to leave the land of his ancestors, to leave the burial places of his forefathers. He has no respect 